Okay, so we're just working on this 640D draper header. We'll call this the right side of the header. And we're just trying to change this bearing in this outer roller. So we popped the, Alex popped the back motor off. And that was a 18, right Alex? Yep. 18 millimeter bolts for the motor. And then it was a eight millimeter uh, for, Where's that clevis piece? Oh, it just screws right into here. Oh, it's on there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's the... So you got to take them out, and then that way you can slide the motor shaft out, take them four bolts out. And then we still can't get this roller off the end shaft. So Alex just stuck this in here so it could rest on there and not all that weight twisting down on there. So that's a good idea. And what we're thinking is the... The bearing has to slide off of that hex shaft that's down there if it were to stay with the roller and we can't get it off of there. So what we're gonna try to do is heat up the outer side of the roller here and hopefully the bearing will slide, like the whole bearing will stay stuck on the shaft and then we can stuck a, stick a puller on it as long as it comes out of the roller type of thing. So we'll heat it up and see where we, where we end up. We won't bore you with all of this. We'll just heat it up on the outside of the shaft and then we'll stop recording and then we'll try and pop it out. And if it works, then we'll just kind of check in and say it works. It's gonna take a few minutes to heat this up, so, okay. Okay, so we actually had to heat this up for a good two, three minutes. And then we were just got a pry bar in there and we were able to work it. And then Alex kept pivoting it back and forth and we finally got it out. And then now lift that up, Alex. There's uh we were gonna try putting something through to bang on it, but there's a snap ring in there, so that would not have worked. So another buddy just showed up and he said, make sure and buff these, buff these off, and then put some anti-seize on there for the next time you gotta change the bearing and you'll make your life a lot simpler. So we're gonna go into the shop now. We're gonna take this snap ring off. We're gonna run a tube up from the other end that's bigger than that. And then we can drop that down on the piece of block or something and then it'll pop the bearing out and then we'll just buff it up put a new bearing in there buff this up and then we should be good to go so i'll maybe video one more time when we're doing that and then i'll give you the the bearing size too or whatever okay so we took the snap ring out and then you could put a rod through there and just have it off to the side but that seemed more of a pain and you do want to try to pull it out straight. So I just used a slide hammer. And then that way you could hit here and turn it and then keep pulling it out. It was pretty, pretty tight coming out of there. So we'll, uh, again, we'll just kind of clean that up. We don't want to make it too loose or anything with the new bearing, but we'll, we'll clean it up and then put the new bearing and a new snap ring. Do you have the new bearing? What's the... Okay, so it's a JD9338, and it comes with a snap ring, you said? Nope. Oh. He only sent the small thing. Okay, so we don't have a new big snap ring, but I think that one will be okay to reuse. Yeah, definitely we'll touch that up a little bit. Clean it up, we'll put her back in and then the going on should be easy. So hopefully this will help somebody. Take care.